Windows 10 is just around the corner, so those of you still ripping DVDs, if you'd like to know how to be able to rip your DVDs in Windows 10, it is a little bit more complicated, so let's jump right into it. For this, we will be using the WinX DVD Ripper software from DigiArty. You can find the link to it in the description below. You will also, of course, have to make sure that you have a DVD in your computer's DVD drive before proceeding. In my DVD drive here, I do have Batman Assault on Arkham on DVD. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to be using the WinX DVD Ripper program. So you're going to need to download it from their website and go ahead and install it. This installer does not install any sort of bloatware or adware or anything, so it's generally safe to just hit next going through the installation. Once it's finished installing, launch it and go ahead and put in your license key. And then hit activate. Now to rip your DVD, go up to the top here and click disk, assuming your disk is in your DVD drive, and find your DVD. It's probably going to have a title similar to the actual movie name. My DVD drive is in drive D and it says Batman Assault on Arkham. And click OK. And it's going to load up your DVD, you're going to hear it spin up and then it's going to ask you to choose a profile of what you want to rip it to. You can either do a full backup to a literal DVD file, or you can rip it to various video formats for YouTube, your iPad, your Android tablet, etc. Lots of different presets. I'm going to be setting up a very high quality 720p rip for my computer. So I'm going to choose PC General Video, and then I'm going to choose the MP4 video option, as this is going to be the most compatible with my system. And then I'm going to choose the high quality slider all the way up to the top. This affects how quickly it rips, so if you want a lower quality video but you want it to rip really fast, then slide the slider the other way. I want as high quality as possible, so I'm checking that use high quality engine box. And then I'm going to click this gear icon and mess with the settings of what I'm ripping to. The bitrate is basically the quality of your video in terms of file size. I'm going to tell it to rip to a 5 megabyte per second file, which is going to be 5,000 kilobytes per second. This will be a bigger file, but it'll be much more high quality. For audio bitrate, I'm going to choose 320, as that is the highest audio quality and the, frankly, what I consider to be acceptable for compressed audio. Then you can choose your audio channels. If you want it to be stereo, you can choose two, or if you want the full surround sound that it came with, you can choose six if that's available for your video. Mine is. For resolution, I'm actually going to tell it to upscale to 720p, that way I have a bit of a higher quality rip, but not the original 480p quality. And then I'm going to click apply to all, and then you can check if you want any of the sub videos that aren't your main movie, but I'm just running with the main movie. Then down here at the bottom, choose your destination folder where you want it to rip to. I'm just going to make a folder in my videos folder called DVD rips, and click select folder, and you're good to go. And then over here you can again choose high quality engine if you want it to be as high quality as possible, how many CPU cores your computer uses. My, my virtual box that I'm running this in is a quad core so I'm telling it to use all four cores, it'll make it go faster. If you want to do other stuff while you rip your DVD you can set it to lower amount of cores, that way it uses less of your computer. And you can also tell it to turn off your computer while it, after it finishes ripping your DVD. Then simply click the big run button and let it do its thing. It's going to give you an estimate time of how much is remaining. For me, for this hour and 15 minute video, it took about 30 minutes. I do have a very fast 8 core computer though, so it will depend on your computer specifications. Let it rip and do its thing, and then when it's all done, you're going to have a playable mp4 file of your movie. And you can put it on your hard drive, or take it with you, transfer it to your iPad, whatever you need to do, and you're good to go. And like I said, there were plenty of presets if you want to rip it to iPad or Android or a specific phone, but I just ripped it for general computer use. And that's it. You have a DVD rip of your movie. Thank you so very much for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video. Link to this software will be in the description below, and it is for certain compatible with Windows 10.